Report, episode 10. Welcome to 10. Until now, a cloud barrier created by the goddess has separated the world, you know, from the one below and all that stuff. This is episode 10. Sib zab zub it about. <laughs> the tablet you place in the altar has opened a small rift between the barrier. You can use it to travel through the clouds to, ro- to the realm below. This is Jared and Drew from Nakataka Badagnes. We know! <laughs> <laughs> I'm trying to fit that in there while in between you talking. <laughs> <laughs> and the fact that this is episode 10. I already did. It's episode 9, part 2. No, it's not. I reside within your sword and would accompany you in your travels. Are you kidding me? No. If we have another Navi here. I will stop playing this game right now. It is. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and cut. <laughs> I reside within your sword. <laughs> Press down if we need your assistance. Some, some, oh, crap. Sometimes you have a choice to choose to talk to her, but sometimes it's forced upon you. She's like the other Navi. If I hear, hey, listen. <laughs> hey, listen. Hey. hey, listen. Hey, listen. Hey. Hey, listen. <laughs> Link, listen a moment. Oh. <laughs> the name, what? Listen for a moment. Darn. <laughs> Actually, it's listen a moment. <laughs> the nature of a great... Hey, listen, shut up! Mentioned in the old text is a complete mystery to... Hey, listen, shut up! Me. But whatever it turns out to be, it seems that both you and Zelda have a big role to play in the destiny of this land. Just think... If what this guy says is true, so it is alive, 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 and no doubt alive, and no with whatever doubt. is the goddess has in store for her. Should you head to the call of destiny, I don't know what dangers you may face. I link um as basically down there. Dot dot dot. Yeah, but dot, if you dot, just, dot, that is my saying. Drew. But dot, if dot. you decided to brave the unknown, please find my daughter and bring her back to me. Well, that kind of is the reason we bought this game. What we've seen here today defies explanation, but it's the only start of your journey. Please see it through to prove your legends are true. Look at his eyebrows. Uh, we already talked about his eyebrows. But look at his... Oh, yes. Look at his epic eyebrows. You do not around the people proud, Plank. You do your people proud. Oh. I can't read. We know. Drawn to the night... To da- I'm done. Dawn is drawing near. Great journey before you blink, and those clothes, they don't look up to the task. Yes, we're in the hills. Oh, the uniform you were to receive for winning the race should be ready by now. A sturdy uniform like that will prove much suitable for a long journey. You'd better change before you go. No. Oh, <laughs> oh he defied you. That's Drew. a pretty epic face right there. Drew, he defied you. Link defies you. Save. We're done. No, we're not. Oh. Just get the clothes. Okay. Ow. Actually, we're done. Oh, no. I'm an elf wearing a skirt. That looks pretty hot, man. What? That uniform. <laughs> oh, oh, yeah, the weather. You're talking about the weather. Sure. A green uniform is what our knights will be wearing this year. To be honest, I've had my doubts about the color. Ooh. Oddly enough, seeing you wear this uniform, I can't imagine a more fitting color for you. It's as though you were born to wear it. Ah. No duh. This is like what the three, six, nine. This is the twelfth game in the series. No, it's not. Yeah, it is. It's more than that. Thir- thirteen. This is thirteen. One, two, three. Oh, it's around 12. Yes. To take care of your journey, be sure to stop by some of the shops at the bazaar here in town to equip yourself properly for the travels ahead. I return to my quarters and see if I can glean more useful information from the ancient texts. So you're going to read. Oh, yeah. You will always become to stop by if you have any questions. 
His elders shall be my prayers. May the goddess watch over my guys. But my mom. Anyways, go. Shut up. What do you want? <laughs> More talking to people. That, that green, green uniform, uniform looks so adventurous. adventurous. You, you look, look like, like a night now. Night now. now. The headmaster <laughs> said your head enough to look for Zelda. Zelda. You really love something. something else I could never imagine myself doing what you're about to do. Okay, I'm done. I put a lot of work into making this. You should take it with you. You got the adventure pouch. You can store all kinds of useful items. Alright. <sighs> oh my god, are we almost done? It's an adventure pouch. It's for adventures. <laughs> you know what, Drew, the second I step out of here... I'm saving. Yeah, and we're done. Seriously, we have recorded what? Like, We've only si- this is our sixth episode to record. Well, this is pretty much our sixth episode. Well, I mean, today. We've recorded hey, six you, episodes. Hey, you, Kirsten Stewart. <laughs> that face just doesn't suit you. <laughs> it doesn't. Or that body. Or that hair. It's all your fault. Way to go, buddy. Some senior class guy you are. Shut up. Why can't I take out my sword? I want to cut her. I want to kill her. Before we go. <laughs> Alright, I'm done. Alright, join us for episode 11, like next week or something. <laughs> or something. These are going to be released daily, I think. If when we step out of here and there is another talking scene. I'm going to hit Drew in the head with this remote. Check out our other videos at nakataka.com and uckatuck.com and uckatuck.com. I don't think I said that right. This is Jared and Drew. Peace and out. Jared. Set another wait, episode. wait. Wasn't this supposed to be yours? <sighs> <laughs> I don't care. I'm done. All right. Bye. Thank you for watching. Bye.